Hi guys, it is Friday evening. Um, I think it's probably been about a week since my last video and I thought I should update you guys. I don't look so good right now. Um, it's been a bit of a tough go for me this week. Um, basically, nothing, again, nothing really has changed. I'm, I started my 750 milligrams twice a day yesterday evening, so it's only been really 24 hours. I just took now my, I guess, third dosage. So, um, I don't think the dosage has really affected me yet, but the, the joint pain seems to be exactly the same. Again, my left side's feeling better. My right side's pretty sore. Um, what I did have yesterday, well, mostly today, but yesterday too, is um, a lot of brain fog, and I've never really had it to this extent, like, and important things, so, um, this is embarrassing, but my son had his first reading night, he's four, he's in preschool, and I knew the date, I knew the time, I had it all, like, I had pictures of it on my phone, I practiced his book on the day of, and then got into making dinner for everybody, and completely forgot until it was too late, it was after. And then on Thursday, it was parent-teacher night. So he, had, he only goes to school um, three hours, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So um, on Wednesday when I took him to school, because I had just, I'd forgotten, well the reading night was on Wednesday night, but then she reminded me of reading night that night, and I said, of course, of course we'll be there. And then she reminded me of our parent-teacher night the next day, and I was like, yeah, I got it, no problem, I know the time, everything's good. So, sure enough, anyway, the Wednesday night, forgot reading night, and then um, yesterday night I get a text as I'm making dinner, we have a parent-teacher tonight, and I'm already five minutes late. And I was like, oh my God. So, that really bugged me because I'm not the type of person who forgets that kind of stuff. I'm very organized and I'm well in my mind anyway and like, you know, like focused and everything. So that was a that was a tough two days for me just from in the perspective of like what is wrong with my brain. And then this morning <laughs> we're getting ready and um we're literally like it's time to get out of the door and I realize, "Oh my god, we haven't done his homework." Totally forgot. So get his homework done really quickly. It's not hard homework, but you know, get it done, pack it up in the school bag, go to school. I drop him off, you know, we're walking inside, everything's cool, we're not late, we're on time, great. And I go to grab the school bag, and I left it home. So I got home after that, and I just started crying like an idiot. And honestly, like, I do cry quite a bit because I'm very emotional as a person, but usually have a good, like, I don't know, like I have an emo, I have a reason, it's not like I just start crying for no reason. Anyway, I got home and I literally was just crying. Um, and I don't, I, I can't speak for people who have depression because I don't think I'm, a, I'm depressed. But in that moment, that's how I felt. I felt deflated, I felt defeated, I felt like, I was getting worse than I was before and like I just felt like a bad mom and like a I don't know it was just not good <laughs> getting emotional just talking about it um yeah so so I had a hard day and then you know if you compound it with the fact that it's the weekend and I'm I really want a glass of wine or you know I I want to just I don't know. I just want to be able to to live my life by my own rules and not have to follow some guidelines that a doctor gave me assuming that it's going to fix me because I still don't feel great. So it's just hard. Anyway, I have not given up. Um my husband won't let me cheat. I guess that's a good thing. But um also sometimes you know like I, I I don't feel resentful, but like a little bit, it's almost like I'm being treated like a child, but I know it's for my own good, so that's fine. And um, I guess that's where I'm at. 
That's where I'm at. I, I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. On week three, I'm thinking, well, I'm starting week four now. Like, I feel like I should not have this pain anymore if this is the problem, but it's still there. Um, the one good thing, so I was telling you guys, I, I was losing weight, so I've kind of stopped that. Now I'm, I'm keeping at the same level, which maybe that's my healthy weight, so that's fine. I didn't do it for weight loss anyway, but I was um, finding it really difficult to lose weight, even though I was trying to. So um, I did lose about, I guess, seven pounds or so um, in three weeks, but um, yeah, it seems to have kind of halted now. Um, but I have not really had many headaches at all. I think I've had two. I had one last night, sort of in the night and morning, just, and I don't know if it's from the way I sleep, I'm not sure, but, um, so maybe there was a, definitely, well not maybe, I feel like there's definitely a connection for me with the wine and the headaches. Or maybe the wheat. See, I don't know. I don't know. I'll know when I start reintroducing the foods, I guess. I'll see what happens. But um, that's a good thing. So there are some things that are getting better, some things that are staying the same, and I feel like some things that are getting worse. So that's where I'm at. That's my honest one. It's been a rough go today and yesterday emotionally. Um, maybe that's just part of the process. Just letting everything go and um, trying to figure out who you are outside of food and outside of your vices. Like I guess for me, the wine or the drinks, whatever they are, maybe they were a form of, of escape or just alleviating some of the stresses or sweeping things under the rug. I don't know, but not having that um, just forces you, I guess, to be more introspective. I don't know. Anyway, it's Friday night. I don't want to bore you guys. And um, I noticed I had a few subscribers. So thank you. It's still not why I did it. And it's almost like I'm so goofy. I get excited and I'm like, oh my God, like seven people care about what I have to say. That's really cool. <laughs> so thank you for subscribing. Hopefully um, my insight I don't know, helps you guys out on your journey so you know you're not alone and it's not easy, but stick to it and we're in this together. And of course, questions, comments, leave them below. And be well, be healthy, take care of yourselves and have a great weekend. And I will keep you posted as the week goes by. Probably, as I said, I'm trying not to do too many because if nothing changes, it's kind of like, I'm just repeating myself, so um, I'll definitely tune in every week, but if, if things happen in between, then I'll pop in and do a quick video. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye.